If you have been interested in Rose because of her history or just because you think she's cool, this video is for you. This video will cover anti-airs, V-Skill 1, V-Skill 2, combos with V-Trigger, as well as how to bait your opponents and punish them with crush counter combos. If you have any questions or comments, leave them at the bottom of the video. And if you want to talk to me in person, I'm on Twitch. So one of the first things you got to do is anti-air. Here's an anti-air you can use for crouching fierce, which is very stable and easy to do. Hard Punch Soul Bind is really good at this range and you get a media attack. This media attack allows you to make some space, do a combo and space out your opponent. Another good thing to notice is her target combo using stand light kick. Combo this into another soul bind and loop your opponent to death. And if they keep pressing buttons, keep doing soul bind. Soul bind isn't your thing. Let me introduce you to V trigger two. This is soul illusion. V trigger two shadow spawn. Essentially it doubles her attacks. You get some interesting juggles, interesting setups. So let me show you an easy one. Here you can see, you could literally just hit hard kick into hard kick into fiercest into soul bind again. Now, if you're on the ground and you go into a light kick spiral, dash up and you'll be plus three, which means you can combo into another spiral. Do another stand medium into down medium kick and spiral again. If they back rise, an activation move is through stand fierce. Counter hit them and go through that easy combo I showed you earlier. Another way to activate V trigger two is from crouching medium kick. Activate, go into a slide and do this sequence. It'll be really easy if you have critical art and that's something you should learn at the very beginning when you're learning Rose. As you get further, you might want to do the uh, combo into a setup. Here's one I made up using soul punish. After canceling the soul punish, slide in and you'll be meaty for the ball to cover and you can finish with two meters. But what if you're trying to optimize? What if you want more stun? Well, this combo should help you. We change the little things here. We're going to stand up, do a stand medium punch combo into a bigger finisher and get the stun all the way up but now we want to pivot to soul fortune v skill one green purple white and red do different things as you can see on the screen here and if you want to switch between them press down and medium punch and medium kick the switch some are projectiles but they're all a little dangerous to do randomly so be careful and if you are careful look for a situation like this to activate like ex fireball one of my favorites is Soul Satellite. It does 60 damage a ball. It has easy conversions. Eh. But the negative is the startup. If you get it off, you can pressure them like this. Activate and then slide in for a confirm. End your confirm with an EX Soul Spark and you can do V Skill 2 again. So let's talk about putting stuff together and punishing somebody. Uh, you know Ken, he DPs. Do a neutral jump to punish Ken. Big combo and then activate. That's a good idea. If you're looking to build V-Trigger meter and also carry the opponent to the corner, bait the EXDP, crush count with hard kick, do spiral and go into a credit card or just take the pressure. If you're looking to recreate a Twitter combo, block the EXDP and then activate against characters like Ken and then do big damage into anything you can share on the internet. Now after sweep, she has a media as well. So if you can activate from a forward hard kick crush counter into soulbind into more pressure. Put this all together, put it all together and see that you can do big damage into stun, into consistent pressure. Take that pressure, throw a soul bind out there and try to get the big damage on using V trigger two. And again, post it to Twitter. I left this tool at the end. It's called soul punish. You can do three versions of it. It takes up three parts of the screen, small, medium, large, light punch, medium punch, hard punch. It only activates on a timer, so you have to really set it up like this. That might have been hard to see, but I'll show it to you again. If you have V trigger one and you're looking for a combo, this one's actually in the trial mode. I like it. EX activates automatically, goes into soul bind, and then you get the same pressure you did before. Lastly, I want to take this opportunity to highlight V trigger one. I like Rock and V Trigger 1 a lot. I think it has a lot more flexibility in what you want to do, a lot more cool mix-ups, and a lot more setups. We'll have a video that comes after this one about V Trigger 1. So if you're looking forward to that, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, follow the channel, hit me up on Twitch. But look for this new video coming soon about everything you can do with V Trigger 1. 
until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.